Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm having one of those days today where I feel I need to create, but I just can't figure out what I want to do. Um, it's really hot here today, and I'm feeling very lazy, but I feel like I still need to do something. So uh, I found a file folder in a stack I had and cut the pieces off. Well, let me show you the trash can. <laughs> I cut these off. The metal piece out of this is missing. I don't know where that is. Anyway, so I cut these off and um, now I'm left with this big thing here and I don't want to use the whole big thing. It's just just not what I want to do. I think what I might do is cut this down and crease this, reinforce this, and crease that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why should today be different than any other day? <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let me go get my board. I have two of these boards. I have a large one and a small one. I keep the large one on the other side of the room because I don't use it that often. Um, I broke the tip. <laughs> Half my phone folder. Please do not ask me how that happened because honestly, I have no earthly idea. Did that even crease anything? Oh, it did crease. What a shock. Hmm, that's interesting. Alrighty then. And no, I don't fold the. I don't follow the folding rules. Like, well, if you crease it on this side, then fold it on the other. Side. Okay. You go ahead and do that. Just, I don't always do it that way. As I'm sure the folding police will come and take my folding cart away. Which is fine. <laughs> I'll find something else to get in trouble with. No problem. <laughs> Alright, it did not... For some reason, I don't think that really creased anything. Oh well, it did, but it's very hard to see doesn't help that my bone folder has a blowout. I honestly do not know when that happened. No clue. Okay. So now I have this very wide spine thing. I, I want to reinforce this, I think. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, what I do know is this big. This is too big for a book for me. So I'm going to crease that for a second, and then I'm going to do some measurements, and I'm going to cut it up because it's too big for me. I don't do books this big. So this is one eight inches across, and it's entirely too long. So let's make it. Now it's folded in half. I have to take into consideration that crease. So if I do that. Let me do it this way. Okay, so that <laughs> took away a whole big inch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so smart. Um, I think I, let's see. A folded sheet of paper 8.5 by 11 is 5.5 by 4 and a quarter. 5.5 by 4 and a quarter. I don't think I want my book that large. Maybe I want it like a quarter sheet. Like I'm thinking more something like this that's really small. Where I could do another scrap type thing. Yeah, Live dangerously. Alright, so... Six. Okay, let's try this. What do we want to do here? I think six inches tall is tall enough for me. So let's do this at six inches. Where's a pencil? Ha <laughs> You know, my friends and I always joke, where is a pencil and paper in an art room when you need one? There isn't. <laughs> Plus, I 
plenty of paintbrushes and Posca markers, but no regular pen or pencil to take notes with. <laughs> All right, so I like the six. The six works. So I'm going to have this big, huge spine. And then it'll go six inches. What do, how wide do I really want it? I don't think I want it that wide. I think maybe five inches is enough. And five inches it'll be. Okay. So let's do five inches. If I fold a regular piece of paper in half, that'll be five and a half. Yeah, live dangerously, Vicky. Throw caution to the wind. Just do it. All right. You guys seen that commercial with the guy who has that funky machine where you know he's going like this just do it well i hear that in my voice every single time i do something and i'm hesitating and the voice goes oh just do it that's why i get into trouble that voice is not always my friend <laughs> uh, okay let's see if we can get this maybe straight maybe let's go here and then let's do it right there. I'd really rather do it on a line I can see. Like this one. Watch me botch it up. Okay. I need one of those sharp things. Ah! Voila. Now we're going to cut the five inches. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Then I think what I will do is throw caution to the wind and make some weird journal. I, I, I'm not one to do unhinged journaling, <laughs> but I'm having one of those days where I think I need to try something new. I'm hoping this is straight. If not, I'm sure I will find out in a few minutes. Oh, nice blade. Oh, I must have, must have changed it. Must have ripped it up. Okay, so look. Ta-da! Now, I, I feel like I should... I just had an idea. Just had a little bitty, little bitty inspirational moment. There is my reinforcement. Ta da! And here we go. Okay, so now we have to attach it with something. I guess it'll have to be glue. And also, I, I've really gotten to the three-piece uh, bound books lately, where, you know, the spine is cut separate and then the two pieces on the side and you leave a gap in the middle so it opens. I really like the way they look, and they feel, and they work, and they open flat. Maybe this doesn't have to do that. All right. Okay. Come on, glue squirt. The reason I'm using this little teeny bottle is the big one is almost empty, and I don't want to waste time on my video squeezing the big bottle or waiting for it to drip down. I did that with laundry detergent today. I put some the, I don't know what we call it, mattress cover into the washing machine today and I was down to the dregs of the laundry detergent and there I am standing there patiently holding the laundry detergent thing over with the cup waiting to get enough to do one item in the washing machine. I'm thinking, wow, that really is very tight with pennies. 
very tight. Okay, let's see what we got here. We need to be able to fold it, and we have success. All right, so that should hold. Let me go fetch some paper. I found some paper in a drawer that was in labeled collage fodder. I don't know where this paper came from. I suspect it came from my pool of friends. I know what that is. Um, so I'm going to put these in here. What I'm going to do with them, I have no earthly idea. Isn't this beautiful? I just love this. That's so pretty. I hate to ruin it. I mean, I hate to... I'm going to do it. Okay. Let me just... All right, it's over with. Okay, there. We're done. All right, so let me find a ruler here. I'm kind of... Get the edges off of this so I can see more of the pretty colors and not be... Wishing, okay, that didn't go well. <laughs> I think maybe I need to press down a little, oh, 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 a little harder. All right, so it didn't go straight. Who cares? Let's do this. All right, let me see how tall is this. But the hay. Let's just put it in there. And whatever comes out is whatever that comes out. Um, this has texture to it. Feels really cool. I know it's a stencil. Feels awesome. Back on the back of scrap of paper. No, this isn't. I didn't do this. Somebody else did. Somebody let the dogs out and didn't let them back in because I hear a complaint at the door. So not everything will be done with the ruler. Oh, this is lovely. I have no idea where that came from. Oh, now a helicopter's got to go over. That every time I record, everybody's got to buzz my house. All right. Okay. Let us see what we have here. One, two, three, four, five. Can you fit in there? Yep. But I would like to make it so that it will sit on <laughs> a flat surface because I usually put my stuff on a bookshelf. All right, so these are all flat. I don't mind the top sticking up, it's the bottoms. All right, so all I have to do is just tap down. Duh. Nothing wrong with me. There we go. I don't care that this and the sides are icky. It's the bottom I want to keep flat because I want it to sit upright and I want it to go on the shelf. Like, this one is flat and it'll go on the shelf just fine. Like I said, I don't care that stuff is uneven or whatever. I just want it to be able to sit upright on the shelf. Okay. Oh, here's another piece. Let's just fold this in half and see how it goes. This is fabulous paper too. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gold and kind of a steely gray blue. Lovely. All right. Well, you, fit, you have a flat bottom. Yes, you have a flat bottom. Okay. I am going to... a little off the edge here because it's a little straight. All 
There you go. Well, it looks just the same. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Look at that. That's lovely. All right, so that'll be my first signature. And then I need to look for enough paper to do the second signature. I found, let's see, can I use this one? It's kind of skinny. I don't know how to go in there. We'll see. Um, I have this left. I did not try this one. All right, let's do this. Let's try this. I haven't tried this edge. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, will that fit kind of in here? A little too sticky outy. All right, so let's do this. Whoops, let's do this part a little further in. It's so funny, I only use one side of the ruler, and I have three of these, and I only use one side of one. How silly is that? Okay, let's do this in so I can make sure that it fits. That looks better. All right, so should I throw this into this one? La 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 la. Okay, so I think we got the first signature, but I'm not going to sew it together. I'm going to do stuff on them, and then I'm going to sew the signatures signatures together. Uh, actually, I might kind of sew them together with some thread, and then do stuff on them. No, I don't know. Anyway, let me go find some more paper. All right, I went through my jelly print drawer. This is a legal size piece of paper. I'm not sure if this is my jelly print or someone else's. There's a stamp on here I don't recognize, so I have a feeling this is someone else's, although I can't be sure. All right, I know this one is mine because this is a calendar. It came from my mom's house. This is mine because that's a stamp I carved. Again, with the calendar, I know this is mine. All right, so most of this stuff in here is mine, and I really don't care that it's mine. I'm just trying to figure out who to say thank you to in case I use someone else's. This one, I don't recognize. I don't recognize this stamp. So I have a feeling this belongs to somebody else. I'm just not sure. All right, so I'm going to fast forward through this part. Okay, so this tip of sewing with just regular sewing thread came from Carla at Cage Fish. She said that um, she likes doing that to hold the signatures together so that both sides match each other, you know, when you do the stuff. Um, I'm not really sure I'm on board with that 100%. Sounds good, but I don't know if I always do it that way. Uh, so we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see what happens. This is just junky stuff that I'm using up because 
I feel the need to make something. Imagine that. All right, so they're sewn together. So now I got to figure out what to do with them. I don't want it to be like this one. I want it to be different. So I'm going to try something really outside my comfort zone. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm probably not going to talk through all of the video to make this book. There will be parts that are fast forwarded through because I am watching the news <laughs> while I slop paint on something. Or my, my husband has some hearing loss in one of his ears. And so the TV is loud enough that the people on the street over next to us can tell us what we're watching. And my the walls in my house are <laughs> thinner than I would like for them to be. So I also hear the TV in here. So he's got headphones on right now. So if I want to talk through a video, I better hurry up and do it because I don't know how long his patience will last for that. So, okay, let me get some painty, papery stuff and I will get started. All right, so that was part one, was just me putting the um, book together, and I'm gonna stretch this out into different parts, and I will number them and give them a name, because I think this is gonna be something I might be working on for a while, and I don't wanna become hyper-focused on it because there's other things I need to do, I think. <laughs> so this is part one, and in the next video, it will be part two where I'm painting the, some of the pages. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave comments or suggestions how to work on my pages. That would be great since I, not a, I have not a clue what I'm doing. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.